Hey, you guys. I hope everybody's doing good today. Happy Monday. Um, so I said we're going to start at 5. We're starting right at 5 o'clock, and I'm so happy to see everybody here in the chat. It has been a lot going on. Um, I had did my last podcast last week. I didn't get a chance to go live. I'm trying to take a break from social media for my mental health. I just need a break. I'm just exhausted. But um, before I left, I had did a podcast about the nursing industry um, because it really troubled me about the doctor um, driving his family off the cliff. And while the easiest way to do a podcast and to talk about a topic is to jump on the social media anger and hate train. And for me, I looked at the situation way deeper, just from conversations that I've had with people in the medical field, um, discussions that we've had in the Discord meeting, and just seeing the stress that's going on with people all around the world in the medical field. And on top of this summer, the nurses um, striking in Minnesota, So I took a different angle with that podcast and I really talked about the mental health, you know, somebody who's doing that well for himself, never had a criminal background, no issues at the home, no domestics for him to just snap and drive his family off of a cliff is frightening, but it it goes to speak to a bigger issue in society of people dealing with mental health issues. And sometimes Um, you know, people being ignored because of their status or, you know, their profession. And when I tell you, when I went through the comments of that video, I was blown away by how many nurses and doctors were thanking me for just talking about the topic and saying that this is not get talked about, Um, the abuses that they face, the things that they go through at the job, and how bad the system is getting. And so then I wake up this morning, and It's just crazy. It's like front page news that over 7,000 nurses literally walked off the job in NYC. So when I tell you Tigro Damas be striking and don't even know it, it's insane. More than 7,000 nurses at two New York City hospitals are on strike after failed negotiations, according to the New York State Nurses Association. Nurses from Montefiore Medical Center in the Bronx and Mount Sinai Hospital in Harlem failed to reach agreement with staff Sunday night. New York Governor Kathy Hochul called for a binding arbitration to avert a strike on Sunday night, but union officials did not accept the proposal. Both hospitals said they will offer a 19.1% wage increase. In an internal memo, Mount Sinai said it was preparing for the strike, including starting to cancel some elective surgeries. The New York State Nurses Association urged New Yorkers to not be concerned about seeking medical care due to the strike. And even in the article, they were saying some of the things that I had mentioned on the podcast that remember during COVID, these nurses were seen as heroes. And then somehow with the whole vaccine drama, um, all of a sudden these no- these same nurses who are risking as before there was ever a vaccine were then seen as the enemy and people were fired. And to me, it made no sense that you would fire somebody who's had tenure and who'd been, you know, in this job for a long time, especially when you don't have a lot of young people going after these jobs anymore. And matter of fact, um, there was an article that was written last week I had posted on Discord, and they were basically saying that Generation Z has no interest in uh, blue-collar work, carpenters, plumbers, and things like that, mechanics. And so we're dealing with a major crisis in America where there's not going to be enough people to fill in the job market of older people as they get ready to retire. And now it's not even retirement. People are literally quitting these jobs because there's not enough people to work them. Everything is being, you know, placed on just a few nurses. So imagine you're a nurse and you're in charge of 30 rooms. That is insane. That that's never happened before. But because more and more people are quitting and not going into these type of jobs, it's causing a huge strain. So what I wanted to do is definitely lend my platform to people in the medical field to call in.
and speak about what you guys are experiencing firsthand. Because I know it from you guys telling me, but I would like to hear from you all. Um, please only call in if you work in the medical field. This is not the oppression Olympics. Do not call in ranting about your Bath and Body Works job. Do not call in saying that, you know, janitors should get paid more. I agree that everybody should get paid more. But today we're dealing with the medical staff Um, because I saw a lot of that in the comments, too. Well, it's not just nurses that need to get paid. You know what I'm saying? I'm a teacher. We get that. Everybody needs to. But today we're talking about nurses, doctors and people in the medical field. So that's why I want to hear from. Do not call in talking about your McDonald's job. Okay. My heart goes out to you, but today it's the medical people we want to hear from. So please make sure you raise your hand. Please make sure you work in the medical field. Um, Doctor, CNA, um, you know, health insurance, because from what I'm seeing, the rot starts at the top. And from what I'm also learning is that these insurance companies are literally dictating how doctors and nurses provide care. And that is not okay. So um, I definitely want to hear from people. So I'm going to start bringing people up on stage. Please make sure your microphone is muted until um, I call your name and we can go ahead and get started. Danielle, are you ready? I'm ready. Can you hear me, T? We can hear you perfectly. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. First off, T, I have been watching you since middle school me and my best friend she's gonna be listening to this oh hey cat she's at work but um i work i am a cna and i work in a hospital and it is horrible like Mm -hmm. i um i'm 20 i just turned um i started working in the healthcare industry when i was 18 and i have developed bad um anxiety depression like i am in therapy i have to go to therapy every week they don't really care about any staff, to be honest. They just care about the money. Um, the patients are horrible. Like they yell, they fight, they kick us. It's, it's so bad. Um, and wow. and you work in a hospital or a private a hospital. practice? Where do you I work, work in a hospital. In a hospital. And it's the work is bad itself, but you have your coworkers, they, it's, it's so bad. Like they are so mean, they're degraded. So you're, you're working with these horrible patients and then you have to work with these people that are so nasty. It is a horrible, it's so bad. Um, I want to be a neurosurgeon. So mm. I have a long, I have a long way to go. So I'm stuck in here. So, um, this weekend, like, I sound sick. Um, I was really sick, and I had to go to the hospital, not the one that I work. And um, they had to call a code on me because I passed out in the ER. And um, they did not, mm. they literally looked at me, and they walked away. One nurse helped me out of the many doctors and the nurses that came down to, to, that were supposed to help with the code. They literally looked at me and walked off. Nobody did any blood pressures. It was the worst experience of my life. Like I felt, I did not feel safe being in that hospital. It, see, it's just a bad industry all around and wow. everybody's leaving. I can't really blame them. You don't have good work-life balance. You don't get the proper, how can I say, Mm. the proper tools. Mm -hmm. You know what's sad? You're only 20. You've only been doing this for two years. And you literally sound like a nurse who's been grinding for 10. You're burnt out after two years. That is frightening. And Um, the, The deterioration of the healthcare system has just been, it's traumatizing. It really is. I've spoken out about this before. None of y'all are being gaslighted. If you feel like this is crazy, it is. It has never been this bad before. I've heard it from nurses who've been in the game 30, 40 years. It has never been this bad. So it is terrible. Um, What advice I wanted to give to new nurses that are entering the field 
was number one, please understand what abandonment actually means. Abandonment uh, is something that we as nurses get threatened with all the time. So, from our- The same thing that you have over there, I think you call them travel nurses. We call them agency staff over here. That's another big thing. You guys... I think someone said that they pay 3000 for an agency staff, a nurse to go and work in a hospital. Over here, it's £10,000 that they agency staff. You have to ask yourself, if you can pay agency staff that amount of money or an agency to send a nurse to work in the field, why won't you just pay regular nurses that work in that hospital an increased pay so that they can live? and pay for the things that everybody has to pay. So you then have to ask yourself, who owns these agencies? What ties do they have to certain people where the money is going on the back end? Mm -hmm. I mean, over here, we've noticed that a lot of policies that have come in, the people that have making these policies, they actually have a share in the companies that are benefiting from these things. So that's something that has to be looked at at the end of the day. But will this problem get better? I can't see it. I can see that you're going to have these sorts of issues going not just in New York, but statewide, because people are now starting to realise that they have worth. And if you know that you have worth, you will fight for what you believe you're entitled to. And so that's why you're now starting to see these strikes that happened in New York. We've been having them now for months Mm -hmm. and it's going into every sector. It's going into the fire sector. It's going into transportation. It's going into everything. And it will be the same for you over there in New York, in in America, to be honest with you. Yeah. uh, You know, like I always say, follow the money trail. Yes. Because there has to be a reason why they are getting paid so much with the people who work on your own hospital. You want to just give them the bare minimum. And I think that's where all the strife is. You have the nurses fighting, but it's the people at the top, you know, paying yeah. playing puppet master. And that's where you get the older nurses not wanting to train mm. the newer nurses because they know less now than they did when they started. It's like when you preset somebody now, it's almost like you have to take them through their whole last year of nursing school, what they should have learned, and then teach them how to do what you're doing now. And, you know, I'm not saying everybody is like wow. that. I'm not saying that. Okay, so don't nobody get their feathers in an uproar. But I'm saying that I have ran into people like that. And it's not their fault. It is not their fault. But when you older, you know, I'm 60, okay? My nerves ain't like they used to be. They should have caught me 20 years ago. I had a whole lot of damn patience. (laughs) And you know, you ask me something that I know damn well you should have come in here knowing I might snap on you a little bit if you know, especially if I ain't had my coffee and shit. <laughs> now I'm just, I'm just saying I don't do it because I understand that the young ones are the future, right? You know, and I'm not mean. I tr- I don't do tricks on people. I don't do that shit. But I'm human. You know, right. if I've told you right how to do something three times, baby, write it down or take a note in your iPad or whatever the hell they doing now. But don't keep asking me the same question. You need to learn that. Yeah, because they they can memorize all types of TikTok dances and song lyrics. Same thing on the job. Bust out that notepad, bust out your your, your phone and take notes. Exactly. That's what I had to do. Yeah, I had to take notes because my preceptor told me the first two times you ask me this question, I'm going to answer it. The third time you ask me, I'm going to tell you to figure it out because I already told you twice. OK, mm. so that put my ass on notice. I wrote everything down. I know that's right. And I'll never forget well, that man and, or his or his name <laughs> is embedded in my brain. <laughs> I <laughs> the first day, that's how he started off with me. I said, yes, sir. I got pulled up my notepad and I got to work. Yeah, you had a good teacher. And, and that just, that says a lot. That says a lot. But Miss Juanita, thank but you I'm so let, much. I'm going to let you go. You know, yeah. I don't shit to the new ones. Because we need the new ones. I don't believe you are your young. Yeah. You know, I want the babies to I want the babies yeah. to survive because their nerves is fresh, their backs are good, and their feet ain't fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's go. Hey tea sippers, to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the next video.